how are you doing yeah i'm doing great what about you yeah i'm also good thank you for asking so how was your day so far yeah my day was going well great okay so as we are meeting for the first time so can you just introduce yourself yes sure uh, my name is vandi i am from jamshedpur jamshedpur comes from jharkhand school mm -hmm. regarding, my, uh, regarding my education i have done ba in political science honors then i have done bachelor degree of library science from igno university and then did i some hair courses so by professional i am a hair trainer as well as a hair stylist and uh, regarding my hobbies uh, i like to watch uh, related to my profession video like uh, hair styling how to make hair style and all these cuts techniques mm -hmm. i watch my laser time and uh, i watch uh, now it is i am learning english so english content also i watch and uh, yeah i read uh, newspaper so that i can grasp new words and new sentence how to make sentence make sentence so this kind of small small thing i am i do all the time and regarding my uh, family i have a four sibling i hmm. and my father that's all about me okay that's great so uh, hair stylist is also your hobbies and uh, your profession as well yes oh that's great So may I know? Sir, would you like to introduce yourself? Yeah, sure. So my name is Tanuja, and I'm from Bhopal, uh, MP. And I have done engineering from computer science, and currently I'm a working professional in IT sector. And if I'll talk about my hobbies, so I love to do drawing and dancing, and I'm also a YouTuber as well. Yeah, that's all about me. Okay, great. Sir, so, dance dancing is a passion or what? No, it's just for fun. Whenever I just get time and I'm just getting bored, so I just do it. It's not like I don't what do it regularly. Dance? What type of dance do you like? It's a freestyle dance. Like uh, in any occasion, just we do. It's not a specific dance. Yeah. There's a lot of dance forms nowadays. You know, we watched in uh, Indian Idol. Indian, not Idol. No, uh, Dance India Dance. Mm -hmm. Today, we are not aware about that. That there is a lot of form of dance. But yes, now yes. it is. Um, Once I get time in my home, so I just do it by myself, and <laughs> that's it. <laughs> yeah, I also love dance. I Means uh, sometimes I get a spare time, so I go to my friend house, no, mm -hmm. or get together and uh, dance over there. Any song, any type of dance, not a specific yes, dance. You know, mm -hmm. classic classical dance is a different part. Yes. But uh, freestyle dance, every can, everyone means everyone can do that kind of dance. <laughs> and uh, yes. so I like, I like dance. I chill out with uh, friends, so that time we do dance. So that means a mm -hmm. uh, way to uh, overcome your uh, tension or some worry situation. You easily can can overcome these things, no? If you dance and if you chill out with your friends. So it's a good exercise also, or meditation yeah. also. <laughs> yeah, absolutely right. <laughs> you know, once we spend time with our friends, so I don't know how time passes, and we just forget about our all worries. Yeah, I also love to, you know, spend some time with my friends, and especially whenever I get time in my weekend, so I meet with my friends. Usually, uh, you are working. Mm hmm. Yeah. So, uh, where do you work? I'm in IT sector, so there is a company. Yep. So how long have you been there? I have been working here for four years. Okay. Yes. Okay. So I'm in IT field. Uh, you can say for four years. Okay. So IT means a uh, engineer or what? Yes, engineer. Engineer. But hmm. sir, not uh, uh, but we call no marine engineer or some different different engineer, electrician, no department wise, so engineer. 
so it's a same kind of engineer or it means a different engineer so no, same in it yeah in it uh, like everyone can join because you know there is no kind of foundation that uh, mechanical people cannot join or electrician people not join uh, but i am from the computer science background so that that, that is the main part of it i can say so i am a software engineer you can say there are lot of different uh, other engineers as well like mechanical civil engineers electrician engineer so yeah i am a it engineer or you can say software engineer okay so you everything knows about the uh, software part in the key hardware or software no computer is a two parts yes so i am in software side like okay. we have two parts okay. software and coding. hardware both mm -hmm. so coding part you do you know yes yes what kind of work do you do yes in yes. my work uh, i am not uh, totally developer but in my field uh, like i am a consultant so i just need for some of the coding part not uh, whole coding part i have to do okay great <laughs> so this kind of interest uh, you have since your childhood or uh, it's developed uh, according to your knowledge or no uh, you know uh, once i was a child so i used to see my cousin brother and uh, i got inspired from him like uh, uh, he was a engineer and he is doing a great job he is in it so i used to get inspired from him like yes i have to also become an engineer even i don't know uh, what is engineer and what they do actually but i used to think like that yeah so after schooling i joined engineering so after that i got a job after completing my college so i am in it i mean sir there is no requirement to entrance exam for some engineering course we need a entrance exam after 12th we means a student attempt first entrance exam then they select for engineering or that engineering course may be for 5 years 4 years 4 years Yeah. Yeah. There is an entrance exam that is called JE mains, and uh, mm -hmm. yeah, but in private college that is not uh, I think necessary. But I have also given that exam, but I couldn't uh, select on that. So if you will select in that exam, so you will get a good college, uh, good uh, government college as well, like IIT and NIT. But if you haven't passed or you have less marks, so you can get uh, get admission in private college as well. and after that you have to clear the interviews round if you want to go in it field so if you have knowledge so you can crack it's no matter that you have done only engineering uh, you can any branches can pe uh, people can join i think no someone is no interest they build up their interest by seeing any other person the moment will come so they decide no no i will choose Other, other one or different kind of field. It's a develop no our interest develop no gradually mm -hmm. slowly. So then we decide after uh, after twelfth we that means after twelfth we little bit matured and we can take our decision no. Okay, mm -hmm. what type of uh, field I should choose? Yes. So yeah, it happens. You know that time that was a crucial part of our life. I can say because you know after twelfth uh, we. we get lot of stress that what we should choose because it's our uh, it's talk about our whole life what you have to do and what career you want to go so that time i was also confused uh, like what i should do because yeah i had an interest in engineering part but still i was confused that uh, i should do i should continue or not because you know my parents wants to uh, like i should go in uh, doctor side like medical field so in 10th also they told me that you should select bio and you should go in uh, in medical side but i was not having interest in that side so i just clearly denied that i can't do it uh, i don't have uh, this kind of uh, like passion i can say so i can't do it so i have to do engineering so i think uh, this uh, study is a little uh, means uh, tough i think uh, engineering part yes yeah it is it is 
but not i would i won't say that it is too difficult because you know i think uh, medical side is more difficult like mbbs and this thing engineering is quite easy as compared to this okay <laughs> but uh, i i have a choose like this uh, that uh, it is difficult that's why i didn't choose that uh, i had like quite fear of uh, blood or something uh, this thing so that's why i didn't choose that line <laughs> yeah more of them no they do said that ki because of these things uh, i don't want to join medical <laughs> <laughs> yes <laughs> i had the same thinking <laughs> like i can't do it this thing so how about you like uh, you are now learning english so there is any reason behind it uh since my college time i was hmm. very pissed about that i love this language hmm. so many time i decided that ki oh, why i i will start my journey you know now hmm. so for some reason or some courses i in between i did some courses and uh, i work somewhere else that time i was busy so what happened when you join some company so their environment is totally english okay if hmm. you are not, if you don't know english then is difficult to survive in that environment so for uh, surviving that uh, environment uh, you tolerate or be a lot of thing no people mm-hmm. are not accept you easily so even though i face lot of problem but uh, i have been working over there five years but uh, last year i decided that due to corona i came back my home mm-hmm. and i decided that ki is the right time so i start my journey i had to start my journey last year month of october okay so that time i think that ki now i i am not doing anything so mm-hmm. i should work on this so mm-hmm. i start learning like a lot of uh, application is there so i was using that application mm-hmm. uh, conversion and uh, gradually i develop my skill and uh, right now i think that ki uh i am not a i am not a camera person whenever uh, come to camera so i feel shy mm-hmm. i feel really hesitation and scared mm-hmm. so i want to overcome so that is why i started my youtube channel youtube channel so that uh, i overcome this fear also how to talk uh, face to face that mm-hmm. these things i want to learn so that is uh, this is my journey so in this way because uh, i i am not a in uh, english medium uh, english medium pass out student mm-hmm. i did everything in hindi till my college everything i did in hindi so i could not speak one sentence that time and to go to professional surrounding so if you don't speak english you have a talent you have a skill other skill so mm-hmm. like a professional skill i know very well but if you don't speak english so people think that ki oh, she is this means like this no they don't uh, uh, give you chance to yes i can understand it you know <laughs> in it and in my workplace i have faced lot of difficulties regarding this so i can understand it because you know uh, if you have knowledge but you are not clearly able to express and even you know if you know better that uh, how you can communicate with other person so it looks like you are professional and you have confidence right. also but uh, right. because of uh, lacking of this uh, english language sometimes we get stuck and we don't get confidence like yes i can uh, put my views so yeah that that are the things i also faced so that's why i started my journey <laughs> they always keep you know back step yes they can uh, express yourself no in even we know we are indian so everybody knows hindi mm-hmm. but uh, nobody uh, means uh, push you to okay, go and speak and uh, express yourself no it's a yes. hands on part but, uh, even though some some good uh, communicator come and he is a good skill so nobody appreciate means nobody give you chance to uh, ask some question if you regarding some doubt so mm-hmm. you can ask go in front of the them in front of them 
but everybody said that you know you stay back stay back so that kind of situation i bear so that that time i realized that ki oh my god <laughs> for this is skill we are all indian we all know hindi very well otherwise yeah. due to this lacking of english they are not uh, appreciating me or they not they don't want to uh, highlight me you know in uh, any good good people in front of them or trainer Mm-hmm. so this thing no pains to you yes right uh, things pains to you so i tolerate and uh, last year i thought that you know i have to overcome i have to learn this language so i practice practice practicing so my journey is going on <laughs> <laughs> i audio call to youtuber i shifted myself so it's my new journey okay yeah that's great and yeah now you have learned a lot of things and yeah def- definitely it's a long journey you have to practice a lot and yeah i mean also my j- journey like i have to improve a lot because you know sometimes i feel like that i am speaking english that is simple english but if you are uh, speaking with some professional person so that time i feel like that i am not that kind of professional because i am not able to use some advanced uh, words uh, in front of them so i just feel lack of confidence that time uh, because you know in my field like uh, every people are from different country and different city so they are speaking very well english and in front of them i feel very nervous because they are speaking very good english uh, so that's why that thing i have to improve like uh, yes i have to become like them <laughs> so yeah i'm just continuing my journey my journey i start and <laughs> people are appreciate you no who learner always those who are a serious learner they appreciate you yeah okay. within month you will speak like a fluent english so <laughs> i'm i'm on the moon ki oh my god <laughs> within month i will speak so right now i am means definitely i will speak no i am speaking little bit good sentence or good uh, yeah. verb or case so that is why they are appreciating me in this way i start my journey and slowly gradually first i spoke uh, broken english then gradually i come to know ki oh this is i should use this way and this that way and i, I mean some vocabs i learn new vocabs i learn and according to the situation according to the uh, what i say uh, uh, feeling you can express your thought and ideas no right word use you write sentence that time you use so i'm learning slowly gradually these things little by little yes yes it happens you know uh, i'm not saying that in a month you can't able to speak you can be but you can't able to be fluent in one month if the people who are already in that uh, stage so they can be become fluent but uh, the beginner people cannot become fluent in a in one month or two month and i think for every one there is a different kind of time boundation we can say some people can learn in three or four months and some people take a lot of time uh, some people are there who are learning this language for two years or three years also so right we have this kind of people as well so it takes time according to the People. I think I think myself. No, I am a slow learner. So not uh, it doesn't mean no. You are a slow learner or fast learner. Mm-hmm. It means that uh, at least after one year you will I means uh, you are able to speak no proper manner. Yes. Because you you learn small small things no mm-hmm. how to express things. So you learn tenses, grammar, vocabs, phrases. so phrases and uh, fancy words comes later first yes. come basic thing so basic thing you use and uh, work on it and then it comes because constant uh, means lot of people they don't uh, consistent in their uh, practice so that is also different part but uh, yeah if you are a consistent so definitely you can achieve not a uh, upper intermediate but you can achieve upper beginner level yes, if you yes. uh, yeah, maintain your con- consistency mm-hmm. yeah it depends how much time we are giving you know uh, like we 
we have so many other things also to learn. We are in different professions, so we have to learn this kind of things as well. So we are not only have only English things that we have to focus on. When I'm not able to give a uh, lot of time for English only. So I just uh, give it for uh, some speaking part. And if I get extra time, then I just do it listening. Otherwise, I don't have enough time to learn a lot of new things. So that's why. Right, right. So I'm doing same. No, it means uh, some mm. intellectual or some uh, senior co-learner said that ki, uh, mm. listening is a input and speaking is a output. So that is why I listen and practice more. I mean, speaking practice is uh, more important because we are learning speaking part. So that is why we should speak more. Yes. Okay, I think this video is too long. So we can wrap up this call or if you would say so we can connect again for having another session. Uh, so next day we will having uh, now I have a, another session. So okay, okay. Thank you so much for your time and bye bye. Have a nice day. Bye.